Hi guys, I'm Matt Z and today I'm going to show you how to make a really epic hidden base very very quickly. You should be able to get the basis of this base made within about 30 minutes depending on the location you choose and within a couple of hours you're going to have a massive 1000 slots of storage if you work hard at the start. This is going to be a really good start point for anyone who's looking to build a big base in the future and needs a good place to store the equipment and the tools and the resources. Or it's going to be a great place for those of you who play adventure servers or you know nomadic lifestyles to have multiple spots around the map hidden with a very, 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 very unlikely chance of anyone ever finding it. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to be commentating quite a lot on this one. I really hope it helps you enjoy playing DayZ more and minimises the starting grinds that we all have to do. So let's get it built! Here we are. Yes. Right, this is where I like to build it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, let's get to chopping. So it's these two bushes that I'm going to be using. Them two big ones. And upon a server reset, when I've done what I've done, these will actually respawn back as they are. And what we'll end up with is two shelters hidden inside these bushes really, really well. Right, what we want is a shelter kit. So we'll scroll, shelter kit. There we have it, a shelter kit. Now we'll need another one of these. But there's the outline of where the bushes are going to grow back. This one is fortunately like a figure of eight. So my first one, I want to get right tucked in there as best as I can. Bearing in mind the other has to be placed. So they're facing inside, facing inside each other. If that makes sense. That looks good to me. Perfect. Now let's get to filling it up with sticks. Just bear in mind that, and I'm happy with that position, so I'm going to go ahead and build it. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And it's going to get much better once the server resets and this bush, bush grows back. Now what I've got also, immediately, is somewhere, if you're just using this for a temporary base, although it's a bloody good permanent one, somewhere now we can immediately... And this, this has been 40 minutes so far, but I've messed around looting quite a lot. Actually all I needed was a knife to craft rags to make a rope or the piece of rope and that's all you need to make this place but within 10, 10 minutes to half an hour you've immediately got a space to store some emergency supplies and all your future base supplies for when you build your big one now what we want to remember I'm going to line this up because you want to keep it within that bush we've chopped down and also 
How do I spin this around? Aha. Uh -huh. I want it facing in. And finally, we want to leave the little gap on the right to walk into it. I think that's sufficient. I'm going to go with that. It could probably be done better, or it could be really good. We won't. Now, to me, that doesn't look like enough space. I might get stuck, so I'm going to retry that. Trial and error until you get a good gap. That's what she said. So I think I want to go a bit more extreme with that. Facing inwards. Again. Lovely. I think this might be the one. That's what I said about my ex. Right. That looks much better to me. Uh, right. And now let's fill her up again. Cool. Now, double check. Make sure you're happy. Make sure you're going to be able to get in and out and go for it. Oh yes. And that is what you want to achieve. can and this absolutely works because I've done it before you can do what I'm about to do with a stone oven and the reason we use a stone oven is because they create no smoke when you're cooking but for the purposes of this video because I've got it to hand and you might have it to hand too we're going to make a fire barrel and again, when you close the lid, there's no smoke, so you can cook in complete and utter stealth. Oh. So there we go, we've now got a base of 200 slots of storage and a fire. Then as soon as we close that lid, I'm going to actually put the fire on soon when we've gone hunting. Alright, let's get inside and we'll come back when the server's reset. Well, I'm back. It's now a few hours later. And let's have a look what she's looking like. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I personally call the best base on Daisy. Let's go round. Excuse that marker, I'm not sure how to get rid of it. Location is your choice, wherever it's convenient for you. But I hope this video helps you. No messing around with walls. No crazy searching for abundances of tools and nails. Very, very, very quick. Let's just say an average of an hour. And very, very difficult to spot and even harder to find. So we've got an improvised shelter and a nice crate in this one. This is how I like to kind of organise it. We've got a nice fire that we can use. I did forget 
to open the fire unfortunately all you have to do is open a lid uh, and if it's obviously a um, a stone fire then obviously you can leave the frying pan and stuff on it but because for this example I had to use a barrel it's not not going to work out the same I recommend using the stone fireplace then over here we've got just another couple of crates of weapons so what I'd do is I'd die and if I was in the middle of something crazy and I didn't have time to loot come back grab myself a couple of cans of food and a bottle of water grab myself a couple of stacks of bandages maybe get some meds if I've got sick from being a freshie some MPGs, whatever you need go over to the other tent get myself a pistol or a sniper and some ammo and get back in the fight it's that easy and you can put these everywhere so for the time it would take you to build a massive base you know you could have 20 of these dotted around the map um, Never put all your eggs in one basket in Daisy, and this is the perfect way not to do that. So we'll take one final look. And um, thanks for watching. I'm Matt Z. Give me a thumbs up if you think this is a good base too. Cheers.